Hi everybody, this video is something a little bit different. This. It's known as a hover. And it's a mini drum that just fits in your pocket. And it is interesting. It's a bit uh, Terminator AI. I wouldn't say it's a toy and I wouldn't say it's a professional drone, but it is good fun. And to use it, it's so simple. You basically switch it on and it talks to you. Current mode, hover. I'm wearing two microphones, so hopefully you can hear this. So it's in the preset mode for hover and you press the button again. Continue. Hold it on your hand, look at it and it just takes off. And it has a green light on the front to say it's running and then has a red light on when it's filming so it automatically films. And it's, uh, it's got a Tango and SD card in it. It's got its own memory inside and there's lots of different functions on it. So in hover mode, it'll stay where it is and just follow you around. You see what I mean? A bit Terminator. <laughs> and to land it, you have no remote controls or anything. It does it all itself. You just put your hand underneath and it lands. How clever is that? And you can change the modes on it just by pressing a button on the top. Bird eye. Custom. Hover. Zoom out. Follow. So we'll put on follow. follow. It works out who you are. And now it'll just follow you. How spooky! <laughs> and to stop it again, you put your hand underneath. How weird is that? And it just folds up and goes in your pocket. Rechargeable battery, H to HD quality footage. We'll put some of the footage in, obviously. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Let's try some of the other functions. This is to circulate where we are. So it's just said it's a five foot or orbit. So it's just switched its camera on. You could really scare somebody with this, all this talk about artificial intelligence as, at the moment, if this was to appear. And there it is, it's done its circle, it's stopped again. Let's have another mode. Bird eye. And this is where it goes up and looks down. 16 feet. Bird set, eye. set to 16 feet. And if it's too windy, it just comes down and lands. It doesn't drop out the sky. So it's been up to 16 foot, done some video in. And on its way down again. <laughs> And then there's a custom mode on there as well. But it's encased, the propellers, four propellers, and they're encased in this thin plastic mesh. The battery is detachable. It's just a small battery. This fits in there. And it comes with an app and you can fly it on an app. We'll show you the app inside. Um, 
So you can fly it from the app and you can set all the settings. When it first came, it was speaking Chinese to me, but thankfully you can change the language inside. But I think that's pretty impressive. Great for social media. And I've used it a couple of times in the morning when I've taken the dogs out. It's obviously not mega powerful and won't take high winds, but it's super light. And the UK restrictions are 249 gram drones can be flown just about anywhere. I think this is about 170. I'll put the actual measurements down here now. You can charge it through the actual drone and you can download the pictures from the app directly to your phone. The one I got sent for um, doing the review come with two batteries and I think that's good because the batteries don't last a long time because they're obviously small and lightweight. But I'm really impressed with this, it's so funny. I've been showing to my neighbours saying that uh, Terminator's coming. So I normally use in all my videos a DJI, um, I think it's called, we've got a Mavic Air and I um, can't remember the new one, but it's a lightweight one. It's the under 250 grams one. And it does some of the functions with this, but it's a bit bigger. You have to carry a separate control unit around with you to use it properly. And it has some of the preset functions this has. And this isn't at that quality. This is something different. This, this is like being out on holiday. You want to get some shots of your dogs or your kids or where you are. Put some stuff on social media. You can literally just stick it in your pocket, pull it out, switch it on, let it take off, do the footage you want. Download it straight to your phone and put it up on social media. So I don't think it's going to replace the bigger drones and the technical drones. But as a, as a device for social media, I think it's excellent. And it's just so easy, so compact to use. If you're off on a long hike and you want to get some footage, this would be perfect. And the cost of these is significantly less as well. It's not a toy. Although it's great fun, I wouldn't say it's a toy. It's like, and it's not a professional drone. It's like in between. So it's like a social media drone, but we've had some great fun with it. On the actual unit, if you select, you select with this button. Orbit. And then if you press and hold that button down. Eight feet, orbit. 13 feet, orbit. It changes the parameters of 20 each feet, orbit. Bird eye. 23 feet, bird eye. 30 feet, bird eye. So you can program it all off the actual unit. This is that good. You can actually use it indoors. Watch this. Continue. Follow. I don't know what's going on. These two don't know what's going on. How good is that? It's amazing! <laughs> So I'll just show you the app. It's really easy to download. You switch the unit on, press and hold the button for a couple of seconds and it comes on, you get the green light at the front. And then you link your drone. And then on here, it gives you the functions. So that's how to link to actually your unit and all the functions and everything you can change on that, all the parameters. Now it has got vol voice on here. And you can switch that on and off. Now this is still a prototype app. They're just finalizing this. So I'm, I think you actually be able to link a, mic, link a microphone to the drone. So you can have a clip on microphone so you can get the audio as well. And you can get the audio on your phone as you're flying it. But I, I'm not sure about that because it's still in, in uh, development. It works great as it is, but I think that's something else that's happening. So this is your albums, and I've just done this bit of video. Now, 
it gives you a low res preview. So I've just, just done this bit of video because as you download it, if you see down here, if you download it, it removes it off its library. So it clears the S the Tango on SD card, it clears the memory in his in this instantly to free some more space up. So that's the preview you get. And when I first used that, I thought, well, this is not going to be very good. But you've seen the quality of the footage. Just, just gives you a low-res version of it. And you just press the download button. Very quick to download. And it saves it in your photographs. Now, also on here, you can actually use this to fly. And I haven't done this because I haven't really needed to do it. But if you look on here, it says forwards, backwards, right, left, up, down, record, and the gimbal. You can move the gimbal up and down and you can set record there. And it gives you a screen of actually what's happening on the actual drone. So you can fly it like a tr traditional drone if you want to, but I don't really know why you'd want to. This the functions on this as it is as a pre-recorded one is just brilliant but it gives you the option if you want to and that's about it fantastic piece of kit i'll put some more footage in now the key thing about this is that it's super safe to fly it's lightweight super safe to fly not over expensive for what it is it's a lot easier than using a traditional drone and you can have it with you in your pocket it's a lot easier to set up fantastic for holidays just a great idea a great fun I don't think I'm ever going to get bored playing with that it's it's real good fun when you show it to new people as well when they haven't seen it before look at this <laughs> I'm sure it's going to send sell thousands and thousands in the description of the video there'll be a lot more information about this um, any uh, updates, the costs, how you can get one, um, what the options are for the memory size in them, because there's two memory sizes, um, additional battery costs, whatever else I've had sent to me as information wise is all in the website in the links that I'll put below. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one.